Okay, here's your video notes on order of operations. So take a moment right now and pause the video and determine which one of these two you think is correct. And we'll come back and see if you're correct in just a moment. So let's take a look at the rules for order of operations. So when doing order of operations, what we're doing here is we're simplifying an expression. So in order to simplify an expression, we start off by, maybe you have seen the, ac the acronym PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P means to do parentheses first. Parentheses first. So if you see parentheses, anything inside those symbols we do first. And sometimes those symbols don't show up. For example, we might have a fraction. So anytime we have a fraction, there are um, an invisible set of parentheses on the top, an invisible set of parentheses on the bottom that we have to do first. Now there's other times where um, the same thing is true and, and we'll cover that when we get to them. The next thing we look for are exponents. We do any exponents second. And then we do multiplying and dividing and adding and subtracting. Please feel free to pause the video at any time if you fall behind as you're taking your notes. When multiplying and dividing, the order depends on which one comes first. So we always start from the left of the expression. So uh, whatever's furthest on the left, whether it's multiplying or dividing, we do that first. So we go from the left to the right. Okay. The same thing with adding and subtracting. We're going from the left to the right. Let's take a look at some examples. So right off the bat, you have to think parentheses. Are there any parentheses? No. It's not in fraction form. So moving on. Do we see any exponents? Remember that exponents are those little numbers, those powers that we raise a number to. Uh, for example, 4 squared. Remember, this number tells us how many times to multiply this number times itself. So it says to take the 4 times itself twice. So 4 times 4 is 16. Okay. If it was 4 to the third power, we're going to multiply 4 times itself three times. So 4 times 4 times 4 so six, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. Okay, so let's take a look at number 1. So no parentheses, no exponents, the next step, any multiplying and dividing. Well, yes. Remember the dot means product or multiply, this symbol means divide. So starting on the left side, we would do 14 times 3 first. So we would get 15 minus 14 times 3, 42, divided by 6. And I suggest that you would go in a, in a vertical way and that you would do only one step at a time, unless it's really simple. You could multiply that in your head and then divide by 6 and then write down that number down here. So we would get 15 minus 42 divided by 6 which is 7 and 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay, So some students might be tempted to do this subtraction first. Remember adding and subtracting is the last thing you do when simplifying an expression. Okay. All right, let's take a look at number two. 
So number two, we don't see any parentheses, but if you'll remember up here that if you have a fraction, there's an invisible parentheses on the top and the bottom. So there's an invisible parentheses on the top and on the bottom. They're assumed to be there, okay? So personally, I like to do, we do everything on the top first, everything on the bottom second, and then we take care of this fraction, this division last, okay? So let's start on the top. So multiply, add, multiply. So looking at our rules, we do multiplying before addition. Okay, multiplying from left to right, so 2 times 7, 5 times 3, okay? And then on the bottom, we just have subtraction, 30 minus 29 is 1. Okay, continue to move down, 14 plus 15 is 29 over 1. 29 divided by 1 is 29. Remember, anything divided by 1 <clears throat> is itself. Anything times 1 is itself as well. All right, turn the page. And let's take a look at number 3. So, just keep in mind, PEMDAS, please, no parentheses, exponents, yes. Here we have an exponent, and here we have an exponent. So we're going to multiply 3 how many times? Correct, 2 times. So we have 3 times 3, so we get 9. Bring down the, the dot product, the 10. We're going to multiply the 6 how many times? twice. So 6 times 6, 36. Bring down the division, bring down the 12. Okay? Okay. So PEMDAS, please excuse, okay, my dear. So multiplying and dividing from left to right. So starting on the left, we got multiplication. Okay, that's subtraction, so we're going to save that. And actually, before I bring down this, let's go ahead and do the division. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Oh, good. So I did the multiplying, and I did the division second, left to right. Finally, please excuse, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, adding and subtracting, left to right. So subtract, we get 87. Okay, remember, 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 we're using the order of operations when simplifying, okay? When simplifying an expression. Okay? Uh, let's see. Let's look at 4. 4, 4, 4. Should I... S yeah, let's do this one together. Parentheses. See any parentheses? Oh, here we go. So what do we do? We do this first, okay? So bringing everything down. Please remember to show your work. Okay? <clears throat> we got to leave the parentheses here because remember, anytime you have a number next to a parentheses, it means multiplication. That's right. So we don't want to get rid of that. So 2 times 3 is 6. This means multiplication. We have to leave it in parentheses. Or use a dot. Okay, there's different ways to um, show multiplication. Okay, exponents. Here we go. Here's our exponent. So we bring 16 down, bring the 4 down, and we're multiplying. We're going to multiply 3 times 3, two threes, because the exponent, the power is 2. Bring everything straight down. Are we having fun yet? Absolutely, Mr. Kramer. Okay. Multiplying and dividing. So starting on the left, notice here we have division first. That's okay. Order matters only going from left to right. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. Here's one of those times where you can kind of, you're in a pre-AP class, you know that's 4. So 4 times 9, 36. You can do a couple steps at the same time. 
okay? Minus comes down, 6 times 6 is 36. Adding and subtracting, well, all we have left is to subtract. 36 minus 36 is 0. Notice how I box my answers. Please do the same. Please show your work. Please box your answers, okay? So I'm going to leave this one for you. And a little bit of a challenge problem here. Notice we have some brackets. They also act as a parentheses. But when you have a parentheses within a bracket, you always start from the inner first and work your way out. And then work your way out. Because actually, we could say there's three sets of grouping symbols here. There's the parentheses, which is the first, the inner. Then you have the brackets, which is the second. And then you have the um, invisible parentheses on the top. So inner, work from the inner, work your way out. And then do this one down here. And then do your division last. And I'll check these two answers tomorrow in class. Have a great night.